Soon after the Soviet Union's dissolution in 1991, the manufacturing of piston aircraft engines for motor gliders, light aircraft, and unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, was suspended throughout the post-Soviet territory. The M14 engine, which was developed by the Voronezh Mechanical Plant, was one of the final remnants of this era. The M14 was initially designed by the Ivchenko Design Bureau in Ukraine as a component of the AI-14 engine family and has a history that dates back to its initial production in 1950. Nevertheless, the M14's production had essentially ceased by 1994. Modified variants such as the M14P, M14X, and M9F saw limited production for a few years. However, they were unable to satisfy the expanding requirements of light aviation. This void forced Russian aircraft manufacturers to fully rely on imported engines, with Austrian Rotax engines emerging as the market leaders. Rotax, which has been a subsidiary of Bombardier Inc. since 1970, has established a reputation for its reliability and fuel efficiency. The Rotax engine is undeniably of superior quality, as demonstrated by its widespread use in many nations. It is both fuel efficient and dependable. Aircraft manufacturers in the United States, Europe, and Israel, renowned for their advanced UAVs, install Rotax engines in their aircraft. Up to 90% of light aircraft and UAVs in Russia are equipped with foreign power units, with up to 50% of them utilizing Rotax engines, according to Rosaviatsia. The famed Rotax 912 is also the source of propulsion for the Turkish Bayraktar drone. Nevertheless, Canada ceased to provide engines to Ankara after Turkey transferred its drones to Azerbaijan, which used them during the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. This made Russia respond to its engine dependence. Russia elected to create its own compact aircraft engines. Agat, a facility located in the Yaroslavl region, was awarded a government contract in 2013 to develop and manufacture various types of piston aircraft engines. The 55-year-old company had already been manufacturing engine parts for aircraft with a focus on fuel regulation apparatus and other components for both military and civilian aircraft. This activity continues to this day. Two gasoline-powered piston engines for light aircraft and UAVs were introduced by the company at the MAX exhibition in 2015. The PD-1400, a GAT B-1, and the APD-120, a GAT B, were designed to reduce Rotax's market dominance in Russia. The Central Research Automobile and Automotive Institute and the Scientific Center GRAC collaborated on the development of the engines. These engines are not licensed copies, they are entirely Russian-made and do not contain any imported components. It is intriguing that they are opposed cylinder engines, which means that the pistons travel horizontally toward each other, a feature that is reminiscent of the engines used on Ural motorcycles. The AGAT-B engine is equipped with a mixed cooling system, which includes liquid cooling for the cylinder heads and air conditioning for the cylinder jackets. It is equipped with a turbocharger, distributed fuel injection, and an integrated transmission. An external reservoir and a dry sump comprise the lubrication system. The engine is capable of operating in temperatures spanning from minus 50 degrees cells to plus 50 cells and is powered by AI95 premium gasoline. Agat was responsible for the fabrication of components and the Rabinsk Research Center ITLAN contributed to its development. The Canadian Rotax 914 is expected to be replaced by the APD 110 120 v Certain Russian aviation motors are now used in both military and civilian UAVs. Russia has now established a new design bureau at Samara State University to concentrate on the development of compact aircraft engines for drones and light aviation in response to geopolitical challenges such as sanctions. The objective of this initiative which is supported by PJSC ODK Kuznetsov, is to develop engines that are more energy efficient than current models, such as the PD-14, in terms of fuel efficiency. The Bureau's main projects involve the development of compact gas turbine and piston engines with thrust capacities spanning from 150 to 300 kilogram force, and the creation of a unified gas generator to serve as the core for multiple power units. Russia is also currently replacing components of the imported drone engines. Russian manufacturers identified an alternative to the Australian Jabiru 2200 engine, which had been used in Israeli-licensed four-post drones. 
Now, the four-post UAV has been thoroughly upgraded with Russian components. The United Instrument Manufacturing Corporation developed Russia's first compact UAV engine in 2015. It was demonstrated to be more advanced and cost-effective than foreign alternatives. Not all Russian UAVs currently use domestic motors. For instance, the Orlin 10 tactical UAV, which is still in widespread use, continues to operate with a Japanese Saito engine. Furthermore, the Corsair UAV was initially equipped with an Italian Zanzatera Technologies engine, which made its debut at the 2018 Victory Parade rehearsal but failed testing. It is currently anticipating a Russian replacement. Russia is exploring electric motors too. The Moscow Aviation Institute has devised an unusual universal electric motor for drones. This motor is intended for propeller-driven UAVs, but can also be modified for land and surface drones. The engine is predominantly composed of components that are manufactured in Russia and is designed to compete with its Chinese counterparts in terms of cost and quality. A rotational speed of 6,800 RPM is capable of producing a long-term power output of 12 to 13 kilowatts and a short-term power output of up to 16 kilowatts. The developers assert that the use of sophisticated computational modeling techniques during the design process could result in efficiency enhancements of up to 10%. Now look at the Russian military. Russia's military operations continue to prioritize the development of the UAVs. Russian drones have been employed extensively in Syria for precision attacks and reconnaissance missions. In the context of sanctions, it is imperative to address engine shortages to expand Russia's UAV capabilities and maintain independence from foreign suppliers. Russia has depended on Chinese-made engines for its drone production, notably for long-range attack drones such as the Garpia A1, despite the recent developments. The Limbach L550E engines are the source of power for these drones. They were initially developed by a German company, but are now manufactured in China. Reports suggest that Russia has produced more than 2,500 Garpia A1 drones since mid-2023. This dependence on foreign engines underscores a substantial aspect of Russia's drone capabilities in the face of ongoing sanctions and technological isolation. Russia has now rebranded Iranian-designed Shahed drones as Jeron drones. Recent modifications have simplified the engine designs to reduce costs, which include the removal of flywheels and starters from the engines. This modification enables the preservation of operational efficiency while simultaneously increasing production volumes. Furthermore, reports indicate that Russia is initiating the local production of new variants, such as the Shahed 238, which is equipped with a turbofan engine that can achieve higher speeds and extended ranges. Russia is gradually overcoming decades of neglect in the production of small and medium power aircraft engines by promoting domestic innovation and reducing its dependence on imports. This is a critical step toward achieving self-reliance in aviation technology. Now, do you think Russia is a drone power now but still lacks engines to go with it for the next few years? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.